the historic civil rights organization, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, better known as the NAACP, is now encouraging, urging black college athletes to reconsider playing at Florida public colleges. Hmm. Why? Because of this anti-DEI shit. Anti-diversity, equity, and inclusion. That's what states like Florida are pushing. So let's talk about this briefly, okay? Let's talk about this briefly. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button, and put all your people on it, okay? Also, fuck with our sponsor, the King McNeil Collection. For all of your uh, fraternity or sorority needs in terms of your gear, all right? They are the best in all of the business. You understand? Go to kingmcneil.com or download the app. Your first purchase will get you 20% off. That is the King McNeil Collection. Tell them first century. So, yeah, y'all. I've been telling y'all that, that, that there's a war going on right now against black people since the murder, heinous lynching of George Floyd and the many, many movement uh, that followed that. Um, those who are anti-civil rights, those who are anti-human rights, those are who are anti-justice. They've been on a march. They, they got them and they've been on a goddamn drumbeat against anything that they deem uh, trying to bend this country uh, towards ju justice. Where there was the boogeyman of critical race theory that they were, oh, we gotta get that out of our schools. Oh. I taught school. I ain't teach nobody about no goddamn critical race theory. I ain't never heard of that shit till you motherfuckers brought it up. Now the boogeyman is D-E-I. <gasps> oh! Come on, bro. Fuck we talking about? Fuck we talking about? So, so they think hmm, having a diverse workforce is a bad thing. They think having a diverse campus is a bad thing. So they don't want any public funds to go towards that. So they are calling for all of these programs and various businesses and various universities to be shut down. So the NAACP is saying, okay, cool. You want to shut that shit down? Y'all football team look hella, hella diverse. Y'all football team looks hella inclusive. Y'all got a lot of equity in the sports landscape. Because of all them black boys out there. Well, how about them black boys don't go there? That's what the NAACP is saying. I support that. I support that shit. Big names who played at schools like the University of Florida. Emmett Smith has come out against what his beloved Florida Gators have done. You know, by shutting down their programs related to DEI. But this, this is the thing, though. This is my thing. Emmitt Smith will come out against that 
But then Emmett Smith will be up in the face of Jerry Jones grinning and shit. When Jerry Jones is one of the biggest Republican donors in sports and some of his dollars are being used to push shit like this. So it seems like Emmett need to go have a, a, a conversation with his boy. You feel me? Like, this be my thing, bro. Like, we see our athletes and our entertainers, they in these rooms with these movers and shakers in the white community, these billionaires and shit like that. And don't seem like they be pushing them motherfuckers, man, to do shit right. Cut a check be good. Because the access is good. No, that, that, that's easy to come out and say that shit about Florida because Emmett Smith still wants his school to be able to get black boys. You feel me? He like, y'all, y'all better fuck some shit up. But also, some of us are those who aren't. Um, celebrities. Some of us want these kids to do shit we ain't willing to do. Some of us adults want, want these 18-year-olds to turn down $100,000, $150,000. Hell, some of them get $500,000, depending on how fucking good they are, to go play ball at these schools. We want them to turn that shit down because of these anti-DEI policies while we go work for some of these fucking corporations who are on the same bullshit. Some of us work for some damn companies who are anti-DEI, who are anti-CRT, who are anti-black, who are anti-Hispanic, who are anti-women. You know it. Some of your CEOs. Some of your supervisors, some of your managers, you know goddamn well they some pieces of shit. But you take your ass to work and go work for them because you got to goddamn feed your family. I understand it. I don't do it. All my businesses, I am totally independent. Okay? Totally independent. And even when I was a teacher, every school I worked in, black school, all of them. Now, you might even come at me and say, well, your superintendent was white, conservative white. You, you'd have me. But I get it. Even in my situation now, where I'm completely independent, everything I do is owned by me. In one of my businesses, I have a partnership with somebody, and that, that I partner with a black-owned company. But I can't expect everybody to do what, the, what I'm doing. I can't expect it. And at the same time, I can't expect all these black kids to turn down them licks from them schools. I want them to. I get it twisted. I want them to. That is my desire. That is my hope. That some black child will say, fuck Florida for that bullshit they just pulled. And they'd, they'd come to Jack State University. I would love that. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I hope it happens. I do. Come to Jack State, dumb, and they go to the league. Get your millions anyway. Become a big time booster. Now you can provide NIL deals for other motherfuckers like you, and we really get this bitch rolling. See, I think about shit like that. That's revolutionary. But one thing about motherfuckers like me who think with a revolutionary mindset, it don't be many of us thinking like that. Now, if we're going to change that thinking, they got to start young. We got to start grooming these kids from a very, very early age. I met the great James Meredith at the Canton uh, Library in my hometown of, home, hometown of Canton, Mississippi. And the great James Meredith was like, basically, you got to instill morals in your child by the age of five. Five. Okay. Now, he was taking it from a bi biblical standpoint, okay? 
that you got to get the Ten Commandments into them real good by the age of five. I took it as just morals in general. You know, as I told y'all before, I'm non-religious, but I believe deeply in God. So I just looked at it as him saying, "You just got to instill morals in them by that age, because the, by the by the time they get five, they go to school." They're being influenced by their teachers. They're being influenced by other kids at school. So if you ain't got them with at least some kind of core sense of right and wrong, they already start going astray. So we're going to start grooming these kids to by the time they become an elite athlete at 18 years old and these motherfuckers throwing quarter million dollars at them. And we're going to expect them to turn that shit down on principle. We got to start putting some principles in them way before now. And that means we got to have some principles our damn self. We do. So, yes, what Florida is doing is some fuck shit. I've been telling y'all Florida is on some fuck shit uh, from the article I read by front office sports. seem like Alabama is thinking about doing similar shit okay uh i'm not sure if texas has done this yet but i wouldn't be surprised okay a lot of these conservative states are doing that my state of mississippi i wouldn't be surprised if we do this bullshit okay it's happening but i told y'all before america is mississippi i was just want to point at us uh, but your beloved florida with disney world and in, in, in miami uh, same shit Tell you what they're doing is some bullshit. Okay. But let's 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 be realistic. Let's take a realistic approach to how we're gonna fight against this shit. Okay. Let's take a realistic approach to how we're gonna fight against this shit. All right. Because the motherfuckers are using our, our labor uh at these schools to make millions uh for these programs them boys that go play football at these schools are making millions for those schools, they're paying for the scholarships. Of damn near all the other athletes. They are. So if they stop fucking with them, yeah, it would hurt. You know what I'm saying? It would. And with NIL and transfer portal, hell, hopefully they can find an institution somewhere else in the country, you know, that if they really want to just get that bread and they feel like an HBCU that we might struggle to come up with the bread that they want, you know, to my hopefully they can find one that's not anti-CRT or anti-DEI that will respect them as a human being as well as an athlete, okay? But I think we as grown-ups, we got to do a better job of pushing those principles as well before we expect the athlete to jump out here and be doing shit that we're unwilling to do. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.